Before you get started spraying, if you do not have a lot of experience, it is best to start on a large flat area, like the side of a house or other area not easily seen. You can even just spray water for practice, but make sure you let the surface dry completely before painting with real paint. In a good spray pattern, the paint or coating material is completely and evenly distributed onto the surface. There are several techniques that you can use to ensure a quality finish. Use some scraps of cardboard to test the quality of the spray pattern. Start at the minimum spray pressure and slowly increase the pressure until a good spray pattern is achieved. This is a good spray pattern. Notice that there are no runs in the pattern and that the pattern itself is smooth and even. If your pattern has what are known as fingers or tails, that is, an uneven finish such as this, then the pressure should be increased. Spraying at the lowest pressure possible while still getting a good spray pattern will save wear and tear on your pump and spray tip. If you are at the maximum pressure setting and the spray pattern is still not suitable, a smaller spray tip hole size should be used or your material may need to be thinned. The spray gun should be held approximately 12 inches from the surface and aim straight at the surface like this. Keep the gun a consistent distance from the surface. Move across the surface in order to keep the gun pointed straight at the surface. Fanning the gun to direct the spray at an angle causes an uneven finish. Flex your wrist at the beginning and end of each stroke to maintain an even coat. Don't spray at an angle. Keep the gun perpendicular to the surface. To practice proper gun positioning without spraying, try moving the gun and holding it perpendicular to the surface only two inches from the wall to learn the technique. Notice how at the beginning and end of each stroke you must flex your wrist to keep the gun and tip square to the surface. Move out to 12 inches for further practice. Work in sections only as far as you can comfortably reach. First, spray the outer edges and cut in any corners. Then point the spray tip at the edge of the previous stroke so the spray pattern is actually overlapping the prior stroke by one half. Trigger the spray gun after beginning each stroke and release before ending the stroke. Your arm should be moving before and after you trigger the gun. This will prevent blotches of thick coating at the beginning and end of each stroke. To ensure an even amount of paint on the surface, after completing the first stroke, aim the spray gun so the tip points at the edge of the previous stroke, overlapping each stroke by half. When spraying on broad open surfaces such as ceilings and bare walls, the outside edges should be sprayed first. Then the middle can be sprayed more quickly. For inside corners, aim your spray gun into the corner, like this. Spray along the corner, painting an even amount on both sides. Typically, when painting, it's best to start at the top and work your way down. Begin by spraying any eaves or the underside of overhangs. The direction you spray is determined by the construction. As a general rule, spray horizontal and make sure you direct the spray up a little to spray the bottom lip of your siding. With a little practice, this easy to use sprayer will have you spraying like a pro in no time. Remember, hold the gun straight with no tilt up or down or angle left or right. Have the spray gun moving before and after you trigger the gun. Move at a consistent speed. And when spraying, overlap the prior stroke by 50%. Allow significant time for the paint to dry before removing tape from your trim. This will result in crisp, clean lines. 